Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. I am here with Jose Perales, who is the artistic director for Babylus Pro, but you also own a salon. Give a shout out. Hello, Fort Worth, Texas, um, Shirstil Salon. Very cool, and this is, is your lovely colleague, and your name? B. Salas, from also Shirstil Salon and Babylus Pro. Okay, so we're doing this very cool photo shoot for Mirror Curl, and I said, this is the most amazing hair color. Who did your hair color? And she pointed to the big guy here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get a breakdown. I want you to give us the formulas and how you got this amazing hair color. Well, I mean, to, to kind of break it down, uh, my inspiration was almost like geometric static and, and the best way I can kind of um, allow somebody to understand what's going on in here was um, you, you, we've seen the crop circles right where there's just a bunch of circles stacked onto circles and basically that's what we've created here so as I spin her around what we've done was we created one circle throughout the top and then layered it on top of another circle and then as I spin her completely around sorry Miss Maggie um, you'll see a third circle underneath and it's all basically stacked up on top of each other. All right, I'm going to have her put her head back a little bit so that we can see because you also have this tight um, V in here. Right? Yes, and um, basically again, it, it's just basically uh, a moon shape is what you're you're seeing right here on this last section and using all three of these sections and creating something a little bit different to create a little more emanation in, in between the color. The color that we use is a deep shine direct which is a brand new color out right now and we're really excited to have it. Um, it was introduced by Rusk it, which is um, it's direct dyes. It's long lasting. It's got those beautiful vibrant um, jewel like tones that you'll see in here and basically to explain into more detail on what we've created was I went in through the first circle throughout the bottom and we did the entire section in a purple um, and then as I spin her around there's that second moon shape that you see underneath and then we enhanced the excitement through there by adding the teal with a little bit of the hydrating conditioner from the deep shine line and then on top, we all know the ombre is very popular right now. So as we went through the top of it, we kind of incorporated two different tones by putting a purple on the ends and then a little bit of blue just at her root area. I'm just going to turn her head a little bit this way. So you're saying just a little bit of blue at the root. Uh-huh. So starting with the blue and then bleeding it all the way into the purple on the ends. All right. So is this in foils? I mean, how exactly did you get the uh, color? To be honest with you, we, we just kind of stacked the, the foil on top. So it's not necessarily putting every little bit in foil until we got to the top. So we just colored this one section, um, separated it with a foil. And then on the back, we separated that, that first circle into its own foil but as I went to the top then that's when I basically went in there and then we just kind of did slice 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 so that way I can kind of feather in the blue into the purple. And the hair has to be pre-lifted obviously. Yes so if we, we pre-lifted it with the deep shine blue from the rusk as well um, got it up to about a level eight mostly and then just work work the different deep shine direct dyes all throughout the rest. Okay, you can let it down because I want, want you guys to see how pretty this is. It was um, just so well done and I love the way you incorporated her natural hair color into this to make it part of it. How long ago did you do this? Um, well, this has been done probably about, I'm going to say three, four weeks now. It's already been on. Mm -hmm. So it's been done for a little while, and you can see how long it, the color has lasted um, all throughout. But it definitely, you know, with, with incorporating some of the deep shine hydrating conditioner, it allowed it to kind of create some pastel tones inside some of those ends. So you can see the animation that it's created as far as like the color. So you can see all the excitement that's going on through here, bringing all that color out. Oh, it's so much, it's very peacock. It is, isn't it? Peacocks are just so hot these days. If you, if you only saw the cover of my phone case right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. <laughs> and, and I love the way over here, it's very, you kind of uh, have the hair super duper short over here. Yes, so with the cut, we definitely went in there and removed some of the length throughout the sides, um, just so we can give it more of that edgier feel. I mean, as you can see, she's definitely a hairdresser, so she wants to have that excitement. So uh, removed the, the length throughout the side and created more of a geometric shape throughout the perimeter. Oh, that's so cool. All right, last question. How are your clients? Uh, are they loving this? They do call me the peacock. They do? Oh, <laughs> damn. You know, I just kind of figured that. That was, um, and, but how are they reacting? Are they asking for color like this? They are asking for color like this because we are seeing a lot more tones 
pastels, even bright purples, whatever the case may be. And I have to showcase myself so I can be able to create that look for them as well. well you're making up for this guy because he doesn't, he doesn't have a lot of hair color going on here. <laughs> well, she does my hair. No. You do a great job. I <laughs> She's I absolutely amazing. Well, I'm guys, so thank good. you so much. And I'm excited about our photo shoot today with the mirror curl. And I can't wait to see it. It's November, December. I'm never quite sure about that. But again, thanks a lot. Thank you. I appreciate it, it, Maggie. Bye-bye. Bye, Modern Salon.